I'm Yanelli, also known as Miss Be Helpful, with another FinCap Friday brought to you by NGPF. Each year in March, Women's History Month is celebrated in the United States. And when we look at financial milestones for women, there have been quite a few. For example, the rising economic power of American women is one of the most significant financial shifts from recent decades. Data shows that American women are generating and managing a growing amount of wealth. In 2022, American women controlled more than $10 trillion, which is about one third of all household financial assets in the U.S. Meanwhile, experts have projected that $30 trillion will be transferred into the ownership of women by the year 2030. So why are experts predicting this major shift of more wealth into the hands of American women? Wealthy men committed to leaving control over their assets to their spouses, who are mostly younger women. And this is a major shift that will surely boost the confidence of these women because back in 2012, only about 42% of American women who were married or living with their partner said that they were involved in the spending and investment decisions of that household. But a more recent poll from 2022 showed that this number has increased to 9 out of 10 women who say that they're now involved in those same household decisions. But it's not just married women. Single women have been actively increasing their wealth and securing their financial futures too. One report from LendingTree analyzed data from the Census Bureau back in 2021 and found that 10.76 million U.S. homes were owned and occupied by single women, while only 8.12 million were owned and occupied by single men. That is a major milestone when it comes to financial empowerment for women because owning a home is often a key factor when it comes to building long-term wealth. But many people are wondering how can single women be achieving milestones such as this when data shows that there's a gender pay gap and that women tend to own less financial assets than their male counterparts. Well, there's one national report that shows that single women tend to spend less money when they're buying their home than men do and they're more willing to make financial sacrifices in order to become a home buyer. Back in 2021, single women became the second largest group of home buyers, making up 19% of all buyers in the US, which is second only to married couples who own 60% of real estate in America. So what does this all mean for us as we look to the future? Well, if you're gonna be selling products or services or running your business, especially in the financial sector, you're gonna need to learn how to better target women customers because they're gonna be making the majority of financial decisions for the years ahead. That means you need to be able to attract and retain female customers in order to get that critical growth for your business. It also means that more brands and companies will wanna hire women into roles like marketing, advertising, customer service, mapping out a company's strategy and vision, and more because this could help achieve that goal. Historically, women have reported feeling intimidated by traditional financial topics and unsure of how exactly they're supposed to navigate the complex world of investing and wealth management. But as wealth begins to move into the hands of more women, bankers, lawyers, insurance agents, realtors, wealth managers, accountants, and more will need to commit and adapt to finding ways to better meet the needs of female clients and customers.